This video is sponsored by Fox, Cosmos Possible Worlds, which premieres on September 22nd at 8, 7 central on Fox. They've partnered with me to talk to you about science and as part of Cosmos Future Fair, why I have hope for the future of humanity. Hey folks, Phil Plate from Bad Astronomy here. I want to make a couple of statements. One, I'm a scientist. Two, I have a couple of advanced degrees, I've done research, and I've published papers as well. But this is the funny part. That thing I said in the second statement, all that stuff, that's not what makes me a scientist. What makes me a scientist is that I'm curious about the universe and I use science to satiate that curiosity. Now, there are a lot of different ways to do this. Scientists these days mostly work in big groups, collaborative efforts. And that's great. You want a diversity of opinions, different viewpoints, different eyes and brains working the problem. I mean, look at how many people it took to design, build, and launch the Cassini spacecraft to Saturn, not to mention all of the scientists it took to look over all the results returned. But that's not always enough. We live in the era of big data now. So, for example, an astronomer might have thousands of images with millions of objects in them, and that is really, really hard to analyze. And that's where you come in. Even if you don't have a degree or done some research or published papers, you can still make an important contribution. You can do actual, real, scientific research. Welcome to Citizen Science. In general, citizen science involves doing basic analysis of real scientific data that otherwise would be really hard to program a computer to do. But our brains have evolved over hundreds of millions of years to do things like pattern recognition, and after all that time, we're pretty good at it. For example, here's a spiral galaxy. Moving out from the center, do the spiral arms wind around clockwise or counterclockwise? Ah, clockwise. That wasn't so hard. And with a few minutes practice, you can be a whiz at IDing galaxies like that one. Better, faster, and even more accurate than a computer. Also, it's kind of fun. And that's why teams of scientists have come up with projects to borrow your brain, to make the work fun and interesting, whether you have formal scientific training or not. And remember, the more people doing science, the more solutions we get to global problems. And that gives me hope for humanity. Zooniverse, for example, is a collection of citizen science projects. You can classify galaxies, look for gravitational waves emitted by colliding black holes, try to find icy bodies orbiting the sun beyond Neptune, and even look for exoplanets, planets orbiting other stars. That last one is a great example. Planet Hunters is a project that uses observations from TESS, the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite. You look through real data to search for planets. Imagine you could discover a planet, and it's happened. Citizen scientists have discovered exoplanets and their results published in professional journals. And hey, finding more planets means the possibility of more potential homes for humanity. And nothing gives me more hope for the future than possibility. Another great site is CosmoQuest, where you can map craters on the Moon, Mars, and Mercury. And you don't have to do just astronomy. With Penguin Watch, you look at photos taken by remote cameras to monitor how penguins forage. Or you can look at microphotographs and identify different kinds of plankton. A lot of these projects only take a few minutes of practice and training, and then you can jump right in. I've done a bunch of them myself, and they're fun. In fact, they're so engrossing that it can be hard to stop. And a lot of the times, the research gets published in scientific journals as well. I love all this. Love it! Why? Well, sure, because it helps scientists better understand the universe, Earth, life, and even human society. But more than that, it lets anyone who's interested in science be a scientist. Are you a science enthusiast? And by that I mean, do you like science? Well, here's your chance. And if you take it, you're going to want to do more, know more, learn more. And that's why we do science. Citizen science is where the next generation of scientists is born. And that gives me hope for the future of humanity. Don't forget, Cosmos Possible Worlds premieres on September 22nd at 8 p.m. 7 central on Fox. And hey, join us for Cosmos Future Fair Presentation Day. 
That's September 21st, starting at 9 a.m. Pacific time on the Fox TV YouTube page for a day of demonstrations that give us hope for the future.